Known for its gorgeous lakes and its beautiful rolling hills, today I'm in Claremont, Florida. It's one of the fastest growing cities in all of Florida and busting at the seams here in Central Florida. Today I'm gonna to take you to three different properties at three different price points. And I'm gonna show you why people are moving here every day and what's in it for you. Let's go. All right, all right. So when I say busting at the seams, I'm not entirely telling the truth. As you can see right here, check this out. This is one of the only places in Central Florida where you can get on top of a hill and see the city. So this doesn't even feel like Florida when you're here. This actually feels like a city like in Georgia or in North Carolina. These rolling hills are a huge appeal of being here in Claremont. But let's talk a little bit more about Claremont. Claremont was actually first known for the citrus trade a long time ago. It was known because of Highway 27, which you're seeing right here, and Highway 50, which is kind of a good intersection to know where you know, the beginning point of uh, Claremont is. But those major veins created a great infrastructure for the citrus trade a long time ago. But that citrus trade is long gone and has since been replaced with all these new communities. All those families that own all those farms now sold it off to these builders and there's tons of new constructions available to you today because of that. Oh yeah, and if you haven't subscribed to this channel or hit the notification bell, my name is Omar Cotto and this is Real Orlando Living. And in this channel, I go over everything that has to do with Central Florida market. And if you're like in search mode, like most people are right now on the internet, on getting on YouTube, trying to figure out where they want to move and you want to be, have a smooth move here into Claremont or around Orlando, hit that notification bell and I'll give you the most timely information just for you. All right, so about the location, you are about 35 to 40 minutes from downtown Orlando. You're about 45 minutes from OIA. So if you fly a lot, you know you got a 45 minute trip or if you got family coming in time, that's how far you gotta go. Um, if you're trying to get to the parks, and this is the interesting one. So right now, as it stands in Claremont, it takes about 40, 35 to 40 minutes to get to Disney World and the International Parkway, somewhere around there. But th th that's about to change. Right now they have three, I mean, they have major road initiatives, but there's three big ones. One of them being the Wellness Way extension, which is gonna connect east to west, and it's gonna save you about, I don't know, half that time to get to Disney World. So a lot of the residents here are planning on that. If you're an investor type and you're looking for a good investment, that's the kind of things we like to look for because you're talking about an area. Let's talk, let's talk about that real quick. You're talking about an area that before, if you wanted to spend this kind of money, you have to go to Winter Garden. And that Winter Garden house, the similar houses here in Claremont cost you about the mid fours. That house in Winter Garden is in the mid sixes. And mainly that's because, you know, Winter Garden's got the cool downtown vibe going on right now, their main street. And Claremont doesn't have that quite yet. They do have a downtown, but it's not as robust and, you know, as vibey, I like to say, as Winter Garden. But the price point is much lower. But once those connectors come in, you know, you got Schofield, which is also coming in, which is extended to the 429. Once those connections really start to take hold, these property values are gonna to start to shoot up. This very same thing happened in Horizon West, and I believe it's gonna happen here in Claremont as well. So right now, if you're trying to get in and out of Claremont, you gotta take 27 all the way up. Let's talk about some of the things that's coming here. So Costco has made an investment here, so they got a brand new Costco. Tesla, there's a new Tesla dealership here. And you know if they come into town, you know they see huge promise and that's exactly what you get here in Claremont is that kind of thing. They have Publix right nearby. If you're trying to do trails, Claremont itself is known for nature. You got Lake Louisa State Park, which you can go on trails in and around the city. Super cool place to take your kids or just to unwind yourself. So if you want to be in nature, you're that. But most people move to Claremont because they just don't want to experience the hustle and bustle that's happening right now in Orlando. It's got a much more different vibe than that of, let's say, Lake Nona, or even, even if you go into Seminole County. Seminole County have a similar type of vibe, but all the development is happening here in Claremont. But let's talk about the real estate, because that's what you're here for, right? The real estate. So the real estate, it starts about the low 400s and can cap out typically around the high nines. Can you get stuff in the million? Sure, but there's, this is not known as a super luxury market. There are some premium offerings. But right now, I'm gonna take you to our first offering that's right in that $400,000 price point. 
so you can see what that $400,000 house gets you here in Claremont. So I am here at Edgemont at Saranoa. This is a brand new community. It literally just opened up a couple days ago. And guess what? They've already sold 14 out of 92 homes that are gonna be available here. And right now I'm standing in front of their Cali by DR Horton. I've sold a lot of Cali's and it's a very, very popular floor plan. So I'm gonna go inside, but before I go in there, let's talk about this neighborhood real quick. It's right off Sawgrass Bay. There's tons of construction happening right now. Once Sawgrass Bay opens up, this place is gonna be gone because from right now it takes about 40 minutes to get to Disney. When that connection happens, which they're saying is, is the beginning of 2026, it's gonna take you 10 minutes to get to Disney World. And I'm not kidding. But this particular model is priced at $444,000. What does that $444,000 get you? Let's go take a look. All right, so we are inside. This is like their most popular floor plan. Two bedrooms, one, two, and then you have a third, which right now they have stages in office, but that's also a bedroom. So your first three bedrooms, all on the front, and then you get into the living area. You know, D.L. Horton has tasteful finishes with the granite countertops, the, the dip that it looks like 36 inch cabinets in these, so the, you know, white kitchen, stainless steel appliances. Everything you expect, $444,000 is stretching it a little bit, but why is it worth it? So, D.L. Horton, why is everybody talking about D.L. Horton? They are offering you 5.5% interest on government loans. That means FHA and VA. So you VA folks, 5.5% five, five interest. And on a conventional side, it's 5.9. So that's why these people are selling like crazy right now. Because at that same price point, it's, a, I don't know, you do the math, the high fives, you're gonna be spending for that same, and then the bedroom, come here. Clean, open, this is a king size bed, two end tables, two windows, and then the master bath here. So if you're looking for the lowest interest rate right now on the market, DR Horton is the way to go. <laughs> They're kind of killing the game. Um, the prices is as of today, which is March. So if you want the newest and greatest information, my contact information is below and I'll send that right up to your email address. But other than that, let's go ahead and go to our next property, let's go. Hey, but before we go to our next property, I can't leave without showing you this awesome clubhouse here at Saranoa. You're paying the HOA fee, which is gonna be $124 a month, which includes a fitness center, 24 hour, 24 hour fitness center. It's gonna have the clubhouse, which you can be rented out. It has a huge patio area, which by the way, which is first come, first serve. So if you have birthday parties or whatever events, you can just come there and set up. There's tons of room in there. Not to mention splash pad, dog park, and resort style pool. I mean, I literally just walked in here and some guys on his day off with floaties coming in. All that, and the CDD, by the way, it does have a CDD, is at $184 a month. But because we're in unincorporated Lake County, you're not paying as much as the city um, of Claremont to live here. So that kind of washes it out. Plus, let's not forget, you get free internet, one gig down, and cable. So, you know, take that for what you will. The pricing here is some of the best in Central Florida, but hey, let's keep going with the tour. All right, so I just got done in the sales center speaking with the reps. I'm here at the Sanctuary by KB Homes. And buddy, do I got some information for you. I always come, you know, prepared. So cool thing, there are about 600 homes that are gonna be built here. The price range is lower than where I just came from, believe it or not. You can get them in the 300s, but when it's all said and done with options, you're probably right into the lower fours. But at this particular property, this is called the 26, let me get this right, the 2566. So you know what's crazy about KB Homes is that they name their models the size of their square footage. So this is 2,566 square feet. When it's all said and done, when it's all the pricing is complete, you're gonna be paying right in the mid five. So about 2,500 right in the mid fives, that's a, that's a pretty dang good price. Um, it's right on the edge of Sawgrass. Not to mention, none of the minis are built yet. The HOA right now is way to the end. I'm gonna tell you what the HOA is and you're gonna be like, what the heck, how is that possible? But let's go take a look inside and see what it looks like. Come on. Or inside. Wow, the first thing that comes into mind, I haven't, I'm not gonna lie to you, I haven't been in too many KB homes, I haven't sold too many. I've sold a ton of DRs, a bunch of others. KB is one of those builders that I just haven't sold. So you come in here, high ceilings, the first thing I got, 
eight foot doorway, so you can make that adjustment compared to where I just came from, which you see is what you get here. You can make those design changes. You've got a bedroom downstairs. It's got its own bathroom for the guests, and then this huge area, check this out. Beautiful, large living area. You have the living room here, which you can put the wall, the TV on the wall there. You know, huge sectional, and then it goes right into this dining room area, and then, I mean, this kitchen, 42 inch cabinet, stainless steel appliances. One thing they did tell me is that the fridge and the washing machine do not come with KB Homes. But hey, can't have it all. Uh, but what I do like about this particular model is that you have the dug in sink, which is Kohler sink, and it has the window. That's low key one of my favorite features. <laughs> I love having a window in a sink. So that goes right into the backyard. And you know, I don't, I don't know how I feel about black granite, but it looks pretty dang good. But let's take a look upstairs real fast, come on. All right, so we are upstairs. I mean, 2,400 square feet, right almost 25. We have room for a loft. Gorgeous sitting area. I mean, I love this kind of area. I put my kids up here. I don't have to worry about them, you know, going downstairs where my nice TV's at. They can stay right here. And then you come this side. So over here, we have the two additional bedroom. One, two, and their own bathroom right here. So laundry room all upstairs, except for that one downstairs. So if you got a teenager, you got the extra guest, just send them downstairs. And then on this side, this large primary suite, which has, <laughs> I love my sitting. You know, there's something I love about having sitting areas in the, uh, in the master suite. And it's like, I finally made it, right? I can put chairs. I have space to put chairs. But this right here is a king size bed. And look at all this space. I mean, you can't even fill this room. I don't even know how much furniture you have. It's got two windows that light up the room. I mean, this is a large size master going into this. And then bathroom, it's not bad. Can't complain, it looks great. <laughs> don't have much to say. You want me to sell you, right? I'm not gonna sell you. The CDD fee is $204 a month. So, you know, $500,000 at current interest rates. You're gonna be spending this a lot, but this size is gonna be hard to find something at this price point that's this new um, and this nice, to be honest with you, with all these design upgrades. But aside from that, let me take you to the most premium option, in my opinion, out here in Claremont. Let's go. Okay, so I'm finally here at one of the most sought after neighborhoods right now in Claremont, and that is Wellness Ridge. Man, this particular model is a multi-gen model that I absolutely love. I've sold several of them before, um, and my, my customers are still in love with it because, you know, multi-generational. At the price point right now, we're talking about when it's all said and done, it's the mid sixes. This is called the Independence. It's at 3,385 square feet. It's here in Wellness Ridge. Right now, there are about 250 homes complete out of the 300 home units that they're, they're expecting in this particular phase. The next phase they're going to open up and when it's all said and done, it's going to be over 1,850 homes here. Now, don't judge. The model behind me isn't complete, but I just want to show you what it can be and what it is right now in its rough state so that you can kind of get a feel on what a multi-gen feels like in this market. Come on. Let's... So right now, as soon as you walk in, super large walk-in suite, so it's kind of like your own apartment. You have the door right there. You can have the living room area here. And then you have your own little kitchenette with refrigerator, you have your refrigerator. So the one thing about Lennar that you should know, I'm just gonna warn you, they are 100% spec builder, meaning what you see is what you get. You either get white cabinets or you get gray cabinets and mismatch in between whatever house you get. So just know that if you're, if you're expecting a customization job, this isn't the one. But Let's keep moving. So you have its own bathroom and then their own bedroom with walk-in closet. All right, so we are in the super large living area. So I need you to have, I need you to have your imagination on because right now the way it stands, there's nothing here. All you see is vast, huge area. Let me point out some things though. Kitchen, great size, 42 inch cabinets, really decent looking kitchen. Not the most upgraded gourmet kitchen, but for what it is, it is beautiful. And one of my favorite features, of course, the slider. 
So this opens up and then you have a huge balcony here. So right now, if you look out at this particular model, you're looking at their next phase, which right here, that's gonna all be houses. And then further down is gonna be Olympus, which is like, they are super looking forward to that out here. And that's far, that's gonna be the talk of the town out here. That's what they're bank, kind of banking on. Let me take you upstairs and see how you're living like upstairs. So we are upstairs right now. And the first thing you notice is that you got a slight little loft area, but not too much because you have a whole other bedroom on that side. Little loft area, and then you have carpeting all upstairs. So remember that. And then you have two additional bedrooms with their own bathroom, a laundry room, and then we go into the master suite. This particular master suite is actually a really good size. And then the master bath, you have tub, shower, dual vanity and walk-in closet all in this bathroom all right so the hoa is going to be around 172 dollars a month and then you have an additional cdd at 205 so just like everything else here in claremont you're going to be paying a cdd that's like the additional tax here out here because that's the cost of development multi-generational suite mid sixes it's a pretty good value if you think so. If you're interested, listen, if you made it this long, there's only really two reasons why you're watching my videos. Either A, you really love real estate, which hey, you and I are in the same boat, or two, you're looking to buy or sell within the next year or two. And if that's you, I would love to be your realtor. I wanna interview you for that job. My contact information is below. Follow me on my socials and please hit the like button because that lets the algorithm know that, hey, my stuff is pretty decent. I, don't, I never know. But other than that, I hope you got value today and I look forward to the next video. Let's go.